Ну, вот так. Окей. Так, так. Okay, so in, uh, today I want to talk about how to draw nature because <coughs> some of my followers asking me to tell about this so here I show you some <coughs> usually I'm not so much draw nature it's just a very small part of my drawings you can see so I'm not really good in drawing nature so uh, I keep studying kind of so but people asking and I, I think okay, I can talk about this kind of make some tutorial so for today I prepare something Talk. okay so first I think um, I should it's kind of, you know, you're always learning, you never stop learning. <clears throat> and uh, like, I keep studying anatomy and stuff like that, and perspective. <clears throat> and um, so uh, I want to show what I learned about kind of drawing nature, some tips which help me to work with this Так, it's uh, I think first Так, first Yeah, so I need to first of all kind of it's about styli stylization stylization about make uh, like stylize it, right so it's like um, stylize. Okay. stylize let me check this word in Google it's a real word <laughs> stylize yes yeah stylize uh, so all about nature well, it's kind of it's uh, applying to so many other subject, subjects too but uh, let's say so like stylize uh, or maybe like symbolize symbolize or symbolize like this <laughs> what is burr? Brr, I don't understand. Так. Yeah, so and uh but uh, analyze. So you kind of when you draw with the lines, stuff like that, it's like all about uh see patterns. You need to see some like uh pattern stuff like um, textures shapes so thing like this um, one more thing which is very important it's uh, let's maybe move to here yeah. <clears throat> it's a distance so let's say here we have very close and here very far like horizon line stuff like that so um, um, more close to us more it's uh, volumetric and uh, materialistic And uh, yeah, can say more realistic kind of realistic because it's kind of you always also choose this level of stylization. It's like uh, more close, 
usually it will more kind of towards a realistic level and uh, more far it will be more uh, flat so it's like volumetric flat materialistic or pat pattern so it's also applied to buildings I always uh, draw buildings so always consider this moment too because uh, you don't need to draw buildings uh, on a horizon you know like very very far it's no buildings anymore it's just some patterns kind of some st stuff like that and it's, you cannot draw windows there you can only show some dots you know or even like more usually is same some kind of uh, sh uh, oh, just some arrangement of lines and dots it's no buildings anymore so it's what happened on the far and yeah so and so it's kind of comparable right to close is more realistic like and far is like more abstract more stylized so uh Stylize, that's kind of, no, I, I talk very simple here, right? it's like you can find a lot of books about stylize, <laughs> about uh, visual design, stuff like this. So um, let's talk about stylize, just some kind of easy tips. <clears throat> um, so for every time you draw um, nature kind of uh, it's like let's say some tree or flower or uh, this kind of uh, root thing it's like uh, you need to see outline shape right so let's say outline shape and uh, so other will be like um, some let's say it's also line but this line inside let's call it contour contour and this will be like detail and uh, one more thing a cross contour cross So it's like, for example, like if you draw branch, so it'll be like kind of something, let's say like this. So this will be like outline. You kind of searching for shape, and shape it also means not only shape like outline of object. It also mean this uh, negative shape. You kind of need to arrange this empty space too. You not like every time you draw shape, it's like this, like in yan, you know. It's like simultaneously you think about positive and negative shape. You cannot draw only shape of object. You also draw this space, which is forms this shape of object. It's also very important. So contour will be like, uh, you know, all these details, kind of patterns, stuff like that. Maybe some cracks, uh, texture of, uh, surface and the cross contour it will be this uh, line which represent a vo volume you know so no oh, here is simple let's say again I draw some like no n without any form it's just like a spot here right so uh, and if I put cross contour became it's get volume so this thing can go like this 
let's have one kind of wall all right I can draw similar thing and I with cross contour it can became very different thing you see so now it's like going in the space moving like a different way so here is just moving far away and here it's like moving far and moving back so this because cross contour gives us also um, this kind of hatching so um, the thing is like kind of three categories of uh, lines you can use why, um, to draw any object in a in a line art you know so um, uh, you can hedge like the uh, according to cross contour lines so you can often see this uh, artist draw this kind of core shadow to to show this uh, volumetric nature of object so it's kind of uh, because line in e line economy is very important in the graphic from my considerations so it's kind of you need to learn uh, improve yourself towards use less lines in your work because it's increase your speed and it's also kind of more in intelligent it's more uh, precise when when you draw with a less line and with more meaning right so uh, and sometimes it's kind of if your idea just shows some texture and volume then this core shadow will enough but sometimes artists will show also this shadow so have like light shadow and core shadow or terminator between so this kind of like <laughs> very basic tips you know but it's like you can use it right now so um then um then let's go to mm -hmm. yeah then is here can go more detail okay. so if go more um in details here will be something kind of between level like close middle and far let's say just um, just a model you know so let's go like this so have so close let's go again it's like it's about stylized St <laughs> stylized Here will be like pattern, and no, again, it's just I kind of improvise with these uh, terms. Uh, <laughs> just want to put it in easy, in easy terms. Talk and here, so on the far, it will be like element, element of pattern. So what I mean by that, um, stylized is uh, something you know is even you use only lines, you use this uh, pen and ink and stuff like that. But when you uh, stylize, no, I mean it's just uh, talking right now about this my technology kind of which I use uh, is kind of set of uh, 3d elements let's say like this uh, pattern is like set of 2d elements and uh, uh, element of pattern no it's kind of two it means like 2d element right so 2d element of pattern it will be like dot or line or like curve line 
or like angular line. So it's, uh, if here it was, for example, uh, let's say, it's kind of apple, right? So you can, when I draw it, I kind of keep in my head it's three-dimensional, right? I can even like little show this three-dimensionality. It's three-dimensional, uh, but it's crazy, w very high stylized kind of. It's very simple, right? Uh, here, pattern, pattern. It means it's like uh, it's like it's um, well, let's say like a shape of apple, right? So it's kind of level of pattern. So it's like shape or texture. So it, it's not about volume. It's not about form. It's just about two two D design. It's just it's like we have what I mean uh, set of two D elements because it's like we have curve lines here, right? And uh, you can. Uh, put some curve line here, curve line here. So it's kind of you more in your head. It's just set of two uh, D elements. It's lines, dots. Um, it can be like a squarish, triangularish, like this, like a spot and stuff like that. So, but then here, um, this apple became just a dot. You know, some some kind of just some part of texture kind of it's kind of can be a bunch of dots or stuff like that so I mean we don't even recognize Apple here not anymore it's just how it works is like uh, let's say we have uh, you know like we have this Apple here stuff like that and then here so it became more and more abstract So it's like kind of a going more far, more far, so it became more kind of like a noise, something, and then it's somewhere, something like this, you know, it just starts disappearing in uh, this um, overall becoming part of something. So let's say here you can like draw this line. So it's like if uh, it's kind of like crazy long box with apple stuff like that. So you just show it's somewhere there have a lot of apples. <laughs> так, so. Uh, some examples. No, something like this, like very, <laughs> like what I did. Um, so here you see more clothes, like more volumetric, it's like on grass, tree, oh, leaves on the tree, stuff like that. And then here, it's just nothing. It's just couple lines. So it's more like uh, more paternalized. Так. Also, let me show you. Так. Some examples from. So you need to find artists who you like, like some master. Here is a Mobius, John Zero, and he like draw nature. 
crazy crazy great так so yeah like this here for example так focus uh -huh. so you can see here like we have three these levels which i was talking about we have this car which is uh three-dimensional and uh, have many details stuff like that but then uh, we have these trees which is recognizable we still can see the trees but then they go more far and there became like a dots it's no trees anymore it's just a dots Так. So, let's see. Mm -hmm. Some more examples. Or like this one. So, here. Uh, you see we have this uh, this kind of grass here stones rocks stuff like that but then what this grass became here just like spot you see and then more far it's just the dots and like bigger dots smaller dots and we can see this bigger dots it should be kind of this mm, like grass bunch of grass right and smaller dots probably it's the uh, rocks or maybe it's a small bunch of grass so this is how it works he don't draw all these details with the grass on this far distance but then he even keep keep putting this grass on a distance on a so so far and you see what is now is just the dots just a uh, two d uh, shape what I call it, right? It's like just dot and uh, clouds. What is clouds here? It's not any volume at all. It's just lines. It's so it, it, these clouds here is shape, but then more far cloud. You see, it's a dot. You see this like very, very far, tiny cloud. It's just a dot. Yeah, so it's kind of this how it works. You can see on a example of master work so here what we see we see this tree in the middle uh, it's our attention right and other trees they became more simplified and like this you see so it's kind of similar trees but here is more details more volume here is less volume and then these trees what is that it's just um, it's just a pattern it's kind of texture it's like he draws these trees here on the far just like just like this just like this so he make texture it's not trees it's not a forest it's a texture which gives this idea that we're looking at the trees it kind of makes this um, feeling of space feeling of death Talk. also or oh, here also a very cool example Talk. so what we see here on the first plan have this uh, rock right he's sitting on the on the edge of a cliff and we have these lines here you see they have like some more details like very complicated something he even show here light and shadow you, you see here even have some light and shadow like little very little but it's like some volume here so but then uh, and here yeah and some like spots stuff like that but then here it's the same thing right he give us this idea it's a 
uh, same kind of things, but it's just line and dots, line and dots, line and dots. Just all. He don't draw anymore this volume. It's just now. It's just a pattern. He makes this texture. Um, and th so this is how it works. Like here, you show detail. Kind of, you show this like close up of uh, environment. And then you give this pattern, which give you mood or atmosphere of space of this place. But uh, information about these details we have from here. Like our brain kind of make our brain build picture according on this kind of him makes this like this plus this some some summarization. Так. Ah, even this Franklin Booth. Let's check Franklin Booth. Так, wait a second. Так. So Franklin Booth, this is very very crazy thing. He is an engraver. He did this like engravings on the wood, and then printed, um, make a ink stuff. So even here, you see, it's like very very crazy detail thing, right? But let me find some good quality. Okay, anyway, you can Google Franklin Booth and look closely in his work, you will see same thing. Stuff which is close to us, like these trees, they have all this like um, um, stylized stuff, which is like show um, three-dimensionality of this tree, right? So he used this um, patterns, textures, but he show like light shadow and uh, like this, all these details. But then when go more far, it became more like a uh, texture, just uh, implication of uh, no, Im implements of uh, what is uh, um, implement to structures. Так. Так, так, так. So yeah, later I will write his names. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and here Andrei Surnov, you can find his works on Instagram. So here, same thing, you can see, he uh, makes this very, very cool picture. It's like here we have this very beautiful stylized uh, drawing of a grass. Um, it's like, look, remind me, Muha, like here is Alphonse Muha. So he makes these drawings, try to study, to find this beauty of, uh, um, like you see, like he studies this construction of uh, uh, flower. So it's kind of, it's real, real work, you know? You need to really work out this stuff. You cannot just like see like, oh, I just sit and draw some nature stuff, you know? It's like, uh, your result will represent level of your kind of understanding what you're doing. If you understand this, like on the level of, uh, you see, so here he like doing this study drawings, or it's already, yeah, I think it's like more like study drawing. So he like studies this uh, branches, flowers, all this stuff. And then this, what is kind of his product what he make, he makes these patterns for, you know, it's like for money design or like for, for, I don't know, I don't know what these things, like decorational and stuff like that. So you see how crazy, how many work he did before he can um, create so interesting patterns. It's very complicated, but also 
um, result of a lot of simplification, a lot of decision. So here you see the kind of on the first plan of uh, Andreas Arnold picture, we can see this kind of grass he draw almost like uh, Alphonse Mucha. We have these very beautiful shapes. We have this like we can see it's like flowers, branches, stuff like that. But then more far it goes more this became just like a noise we just see all, uh, all this um, like a dun 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 you know just these things it's not any uh, kind of le any such level of clarity it's only here details there is just texture just a pattern so you kind of make this gradient of uh, uh, level of details and uh, uh, realistic level kind of so here is more realistic there is more more abstract w more far it goes more abstract it becomes so it's kind of first very very important kind of moment here Talk. so yeah so I, I need to give you names of artists so how it works i have uh, you see like this one right uh i have uh, on my computer i have pdf file so i put all artists who i li i very like how they work with nature so i have different i have like nature drawings like city drawings or maybe like some special effects drawings like how they draw smoke fire explosion stuff like that so here i collect like this nature things like how they draw mountains how they draw rocks and uh, leaf and stuff like that look looks so amazing with mobius so i put uh this perfect uh, great examples of their work uh, of this about the subject i put together on a period and so i can study and copy trying to understand how they do this stuff um, so the, basically actually i learn about this uh, thing i learn watching mobius works you can see this thing about like more detail less detail about how very simple he can do this you know like this uh, you see mountain here yeah or like this one so few lines but it's so amazing right we have here just the boxes the horses and it feels as like uh, in the desert with uh, all these clouds but these clouds are just very very uh, simple Tuck. so you need to do it yourself you need to find works of your favorite artists and uh, study them collect them together and copy them try to imitate and stuff like that i think is the best way to learn also it's a book uh, rendering in pen and ink uh, by arthur Gut guptil so this book i think is really best and everybody recommend this book it's kind of ultimate uh, tutorial of using ink you know so um, you even don't need to use in such um, deep uh, level but it's really give you good school and good foundation so um, here okay later so let's say I write some names of artists who from my taste kind of they give me inspiration and I study from them Tuck. yes Mobius so you can type them in a Google and watch their works Mobius you must to know if you work with ink it's a shame not to know uh, Mobius <laughs> Tuck. so Masamu Nishiro is not much about uh, nature, it's just 
about like his manga graphic I really like так, so Andrei Sornov it's crazy how he work you uh, find him on uh, Instagram he have Instagram так, Sornov he, no, uh, V he usually make paintings but he his graphic works also insane very good так, so uh, Tread more very interesting very interesting style так. Um, oh, Franklin Booth of course так. From. Так. Mm -hmm. oh, Katsuhiro Atoma Again, it's more about architecture and Tsutomu Nihi. Um, so, in a book uh, of uh, Arthur Gaptil. So, you find this book, you practice all the stuff from book. Так, so one more thing. Так, one more stop. <clears throat> so let's go again to this. Actually, I feel everything. Так. Ah, yeah. So let's say this thing. So in a drawing, uh, nature uh, and like uh, all other graphic kind of stuff, it's like this moments important to um, study separately, kind of to know all this thing. It's a uh, shading, Так. overlapping. No. Yeah, just give you a couple things over lapping. <clears throat> так, it's kind of repeating. Так, scale. Scale is kind of, I already tell about that. This can be like size, but it's also about uh, depth how close, how big it's kind of because it's closer to you and how small because it's like very far somewhere so it will change its representation, right? and uh, line economy is just something you need to constantly study how to, how to make it more easy with less lines it's kind of something I have a lot problem with that, and I'm working on it to make it more and more um, intelligent. Tag. So, yeah, and line thickness. Yes, thickness. Oh, you know, it's some like uh, when you, for example, draw when you draw outline usually it's like more thick line uh, contour will be more uh, narrow lines more thin and like contour and cross, cross contour so it do this one more darker also use uh, this make more darker just like to show shadow part of object like more, more thick, it's more thick, it uh, perceives like darker, right? So, this, uh, this things, you know what is idea? It's like, you not only look it when you work, 
it's not only like what you do, what you control while, while, you, while you're making your picture. It's also what do you need to look at when you study other artists you appreciate, you know. So you see how he work with the different thickness of lines, how uh, he work with the scale and like change this uh, style and patterns. Um, everything you need to ask more uh, focus questions like how he deal with volumes how he uh, uh, represent material by patterns you know just ask this question and look and find it don't look at just like oh i want to um, draw like him if you like see it and like oh i want to draw like Mobius, so what you know well, you, you will look at forever and it's kind of like, uh, I still kind of hope <laughs> I will draw someday like him. But if you have precise question, if you have like kind of, uh, not like which kind of pen he use, you know, but how he, uh, why I look at this picture, for example, right? And I feel it's like, uh, desert. I can see, I can feel this uh, uh, deep space and you see like, aha, uh -huh, because he doing this thing, you know, like it's like more far uh, these patterns he do, they're like more horizontal and more dense more from horizontal line is more uh, became like less uh, horizontal and less dense you know and then it start to get some more complex sh uh, patterns you know so he did something like this it's kind of here you see what is behind this guy in this thing it's like this wavy lines, the wavy lines, but then they become slowly, slowly, it just became a bunch of horizontal lines. So this is what you can learn from him if you will like more focus. Focus kind of on a problem, on a subject. Talk. So, what else? Uh -huh. No, about shading you can find also give you some um, it's kind of hashtags, you know, like some words you can Google and learn. It's like you can learn it also from uh, Steve Houston, for example. He give very amazing um, and simple uh, tutorials about how to work with shading. So, um, well, let's say, for example, what is sh shading? It's about uh, cast, let's okay, like cast shadow, uh, ambient occlusion, Talk. sculpt, sculpt in tone. let's say like self shadow kind of core shadow so what is mean sculpting tone somebody know what is sculpting tone anybody speak English here no Okay, так. so uh, we have some shape and uh, if I um, kind of, okay, let's do shape. So this shape, I put this uh, shading, this tone, and I kind of create 
this feeling of a round volume of this of this object and it don't need to be like perfect uh, but it's kind of you see how it works as already feels like roundish even if it's not perfect so it's like sculpt in tone tone and uh, here I can do like this So here is like more um, more edge, kind of more uh, sharp edges. So if we, for example, like uh, have this thing, Так, so, uh, so here it's like this one, it's like more soft transitions, right? This one uh, will represent like, uh, let's see. something like this you see how it works so and uh, this one 
it's just like uh, more angular uh, change of form So and why 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 this happen? Because this idea of sculpt and tone, it's uh, if we look. At surface, so as you look at surface here, and uh, this surface, like which is like perpendicular, it's like ninety angle, right? It will be seems like more bright, let's say like white here, and uh, when s other surface no, when surface is not perpendicular, when it's like little like have some angle, it will change um, its value, so it will be like this. And here this rule, more it, uh, more angle, and the more darker it will be. So this one, this surface, perceives like much darker, because it's like almost parallel, almost parallel to your eye sight. So this is why when we look at ball, like um, ball, right? This round here is white, and then it start more and more gray, gray dark, and here it will be like black here, darker, 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 and kind of black here. So it's like what we uh, see of ball. Um, so this kind of sculpting tone. So I, I mean, it's just all this stuff just need to know, need to practice, and uh, we can also see this everywhere, everywhere. Duck. Let's see. No, I mean, it's just how it works, why we perceive something volumetric. It's just because have this thing. You see how it's uh, darker here? Change of plants. Change of plants. It can be also because... No. It work simultaneously. It work both. It's a light source and also sculpting tone. We need to use sculpting tone in our drawing. At least like... Even you give some small hint of this, but it uh, should have there, must, must have. <laughs> Tag. Okay. So. Uh, let's see.
Так. Так, сам. Okay, so it's just some um, try to make some demonstration. <clears throat> так. So I look in a view or photo whatever. So why also why I draw usually outdoors? It's because I more enjoy drawing outdoors. It's much more fun than draw from photo. Так. But I've been learn about it's like uh, drawing from photo is no cool artists need to draw from nature or from imagination but I don't care anymore I think it's not point at all you just need to be sure you can uh, you have some message you know you need to have some reason why you draw and this main thing from where you draw it, from imagination or from photo. Oh, and also it should be your photo, it's my photo, so it's totally legal <laughs> to use it. <laughs> так, so, so I kind of, you know, I try to uh, describe what I need from uh, view. So because I don't need to draw everything like this kind of stuff here I just choose what is important for me so if me I usually I like of course some constructional things some this stuff whatever is that okay it's interesting like making this cliff here так. Так. So God, Gaptil, in a book, he have very cool tutorial about how to draw trees. So I really recommend this book. Так. So what for me? I have no idea of what is kind of tree, you know. I better I have better I know like uh, name of tree. All the stuff, but for me, it's just some alien nature from <laughs> from planet on Earth. Так. So I just like this uh, dynamic, and also like I start to like drawing trees after I draw cables. So after a while, when I was draw different cables, I find tree is very similar to cables. It's like wow, now I interest in drawing trees, you know, this branches stuff. But still, I don't like to draw um, this uh, tree leaves. You know, it's kind of boring. It's like you draw this fluffy stuff on the trees. Так, so and here. Here we have other side. Okay, kind of this. Here will be the stress. So again, my uh, tip, kind of for how I think it. Um, <clears throat> just like watching this 10 minutes already I have this uh, analysis 
what I did. We have this tree, which is like naked, right? Um, we have this stuff here, some like boxes. We have this thing here, some concrete embankment, which have like this interesting thing. We have a uh, kind of pond, pond here. So you know it's like elements one, two, three, four. Um, then this pond have some kind of this. Uh, I didn't forgot in English how it's called some of this stuff. Um, then we have other side. So it's already five, six. We have these small houses. See? Small houses here. So these buildings on the other side, I see as two layers. So this seven is more close to us. And here, these tall buildings, they're more far. It's like eight elements, they're more far. And they're kind of going to here. Here we have bridge, so it's number element number nine. Here, here we have like bro brothers, uh, peers of this tree, <laughs> some bunch of dudes. They similar, they have enough, uh, don't have foliage, they just a uh, bunch of branches and some these dry flowers on them. Uh, it's number 10. Then here have some road and trees with, fo with the foliage. So these trees have this uh, how it's called? Trunks. Trunks and foliage, right? So it's something like this. So it's number 11. This here 12. Maybe I will not draw this road. I don't know. And the grass and this grass kind of here. So we have 13 elements. Mm, I don't know, maybe I will draw some cloud here, like 14. So, before I start to draw any details, and before before I, I'm sure what I'm doing, you know, I, I figure out what I'm, how many objects, how many elements, what is ingredients of my picture. Any picture always is like this, because when I have these ingredients, I can adjust them, I can move them, I can even change. I can put this leg here, I can put this here, I don't care, it's my picture, you know. But if I don't think through, if I don't make this analysis, I will stuck, I will be a slaver of this picture. I will just kind of like, oh, oh, I just wish I can draw similar. Oh, I, I, I afraid I can uh, do something wrong, you know. Uh, with this one, I, it's my picture. Now I steal, uh, I steal soul from this view, you know. <laughs> I learn what what is point of this view for me, you know. Answer, my picture is answer for a question why I like this view. This why because pond, because buildings, because blah 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 blah, like this. Okay, so. Then, kind of how I usually do. So then, so, according to this logic, which I was just talking all this time, uh, this tree will be more volumetric. No, oh, maybe these boxes. So it's kind of tree in boxes. It's most volumetric stuff here. All other one will be much less volumetric. And I start from something like outline first. 
I just need to be sure uh, like main stuff on uh, their places and main uh, this important shapes So maybe you already can see that I totally bullshit in this tree. I kind of, I don't follow it at all. I just look in what kind of branches it have and I try to do my best and take best I can see it's this tree you know hello <laughs> and uh, but I don't have I don't do all this measurement I don't care how where is location of particular branch what proportion of particular branch I don't want to spend my energy and attention for all these details for me it's important it's just uh, um, kind of this cool vibe of this tree you know sounds like wow this kind of how it moves stuff like that this is what interesting and important for me but not uh, again because I don't know this tree if somebody know what kind of tree is it I can write <laughs> and uh, so if I know maybe I can study before more about what is kind of special characteristics of this tree stuff like that and I will draw more focus on its uh, real sh uh, form but usually I just uh, I just in use real tree for inspiration it's just reference for inspiration and so Talk. Because, uh, yeah, I don't know, I'm not tree expert. <laughs> так. It's like, you know, um, drawing is I think it's also very similar to Tolkien. It's like um, we have, for example, you go to park, right? And you walk in a park and you look around and it's like, wow, crazy, this tree, it's crazy, it's like this and like that, you know? You don't make this uh, crazy scientific explanation like, Hello, my friends. I want to report to you about tree I just saw ten minutes ago in the park. It have like 
uh, it was tall, like uh, five meter tall, and it have like twenty five branches. Every branch have this kind of uh, amount of uh, small uh, stuff, and uh, how many you know. Oh, it's just nobody do like this right you will more like share your feeling of it you will more like say it was like this it's kind of you know crazy like a monster or like this thing so <laughs> this kind of I think is more important at least it's more important it's your impression than um, than information information is part is kind of important part it's like I need to be sure at least it look like tree at least you know and they kind of should work on each other is like if uh, you do everything right then it have some amount of information and some amount of uh, impression but impression is a driver is some reason why you draw this Put some music.
<clears throat> so in here what I can also tell Tuck, one second Tuck. so here I'll do the same it's also very interesting you kind of you know you need to also check some Wikipedia about trees it's uh, about for example I was so amazed to find out how trees grows they grow turning around <laughs> it's so interesting and this is uh, how their branches located around you know it's like it's like this uh, y fractal and it's rotating around itself it's very interesting так yeah so one interesting moment Interesting moment. Um, this I will, will kind of teach usually children. It's like tree. It's uh, about like three level of uh, branches. So it's like first we have trunk, right? Let's say trunk kind of like this. What? Uh, kind of rule it's uh, uh, on the below on the ground is more thick more uh, far from ground is more thin then uh, on this trunk let's say one will have branches so branches they will like smaller they start smaller than trunk you know and same they will go far and they will become more and more narrow so it's kind of this basic rule for drawing tree branch start uh, start uh, thinner and more far from trunk more narrow it became so this like let's say second level right and then have third level third level it's uh, these small branches on a branch they also they kind of same thing same simple rule they start thinner than branch and go more and more thin so so you can draw you know uh many different configurations this kind of fun this can be angular so you kind of when you use a simple structure it became more easier to draw and then so this is like third level and four level is just some like super super tiny this stuff on a branch so it's like tuck, one two three four yeah just four elements so of course you can also like put this four sink here but i don't know it's kind of uh, anything can be but i mean it's just very basic thing about trees it's just kind of uh, kindergarten level you can teach children and you can use yourself it's just this four categories four kind of or three it can be five up to you but it's just always this idea it's like trunk uh, branch and branch on branch and small branches on branches you know like super young uh, 
some branch on branch and this super young branches it's kind of basic thing so when you know it is like kind of very it's just like a lego lego tree Tuck. so here i try to show some, uh, So you know you kind of you can try to show this spiral thing kind of uh, tree rotation around itself because tree grow up when tree grow up is rotating like this so you can look uh, on the trunks some is more obvious some less obvious and the branches they grow, grow like this. So you see what I do? This uh, hatching to show form is a cross contour. Uh, some like a spots or cracks, it's a contour between this outline, right? So same, just three lines. And here I can like this branch go under this branch. Usually I saw like artists do this kind of trick you make it darker so it's like more feels like it's go under you know so kind of this branch drop shadow on this br branch below so you kind of some cheap trick <laughs> no i mean if you if you're not thinking much about source light and stuff like that but just very easy to show um this depth tuck okay so, so and this one some like uh-huh so this thing is like you know this pattern this thing on a tree is kind of this seed um it's like kind of fruits, like dry and light things with the seed inside, seed bag, seed bags. So I try to kind of make some interesting picture of them. Again, it's like I'm more worried about my drawing here, like how to put them here. So it's like different size. Sometimes it's a bunch of them. And I will put some of this kind of texture. Sometimes it's independent. Sometimes very small. So you play with this just like texture, you know, like like if you draw it just and you try make texture interesting itself without any meaning, it's nothing. I don't know what it's like. A, it can be like water splashes or falling rocks. Just just a pattern. Yes, 
are also about line thickness. Let's do this to make more thick line. Just to ground it more, so like look closer and heavier and stronger kind of. So here you see this branch, like a little awkward because here is thinner than here, here is more fat. So it's kind of... Uh, hmm just some um, sometimes happen Tuck. some imperfection Okay, so uh, <clears throat> here I will put some of this grass. Talk. Yeah. Okay. Is it true this or not? No, I think I will not draw this bricks so here some press Rabajo. <laughs> Don't understand Rabajo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So here, or maybe I'll leave it for later. I will do some buildings here. Так. So you see buildings, these buildings on the far should be much more simple because if I will make them to detail it will be mess. Так.
like a very thin line uh, without like don't make it too complex it's very very light maybe later we'll put some details we'll see Tuck. then here I kind of forgot how I can draw these trees in a nice way so I go tuck, no, come back. so I go to my reference from our favorite artists right? my homework where I collect all this artist and I find how they deal with this situation tuck. Something similar. How they draw this uh, pattern of uh, branches. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I happy I can help somebody. Yeah, because kind of for my uh, from my thinking, <coughs> teaching is kind of uh, sharing this. Uh, tips which will like economy time so kind of I spent some time to understand myself and now <coughs> I can share Tuck. Ah, yeah I think so I can share and you will economy your time Tuck. where is this yeah I think Surnov uh -huh. so one is here kind of uh, similar thing so it's, I think it's like a um, bunch of trees there very far so it's like look very uncertain but it's a pencil so it's not very useful Tuck there or oh, foliage here Tuck. Uh -huh. Yeah, and I think, yeah, so, uh, Masamune Shiro, Masamune Shiro, how he draw tree without branches, or without foliage, you see this bare trees, bare trunk, you see, aha, uh -huh. so here we have this uh, Kusanagi stay near car, and behind we have many trees without leaf. It's all branches. See, so he make us like uh, texture balls. It's like balls with a uh, fur <laughs> on them. So, and here similar is like how make a grass on uh, Andreas or no work. So it's like he makes this um, kind of just bunch of vertical lines. Make this like a smoke creates kind of feeling of smoke from the things Talk. so so what is mean here in this situation we have a uh, example how how to make volumetric version so we can see some like form of each tree right because he use sculptone he uses sculptone he shows this kind of more darker edges so it's feel round and it's also pretty shady this kind of uh, value is like middle and dark here <coughs> also kind of a surno is like middle value but if i will if i want to make a slide then I need to, no, maybe I can just draw this outline without drawing much dark details inside. Okay, anyway, like, let's try, because I don't see more examples here, but I think I have some idea. Okay, okay. <coughs> так. So, we look 
our favorite artist pictures. So here, so like that. And so this tree. So I want to show kind of this look going for it. Right? Yeah, because also I like this uh, metaphor about door. It's like teacher is somebody who can show you the right door. So if you want, you can open it yourself, but nobody can open it for you. So it's kind of, I cannot say I can draw trees in nature is still kind of miserable but uh, I want to share this um, names and uh, approach which I think is really useful how to improve and how to learn because just no direction is also uh, very very important it's like most important that you know where to go So you see, we have this movement along with the embankment movement and uh, it's like three elements of this group here. One is uh, this kind of, um, uh, how's it called, like naked foliage without leaves and uh, trunks and some of these branches which is going here. You see, they're kind of, no, this is what I choose to focus again it's like instead of trying to draw it all together you find your focus what is your attention and uh, like what is your lego blocks here which you will use to build this uh, part of picture you know you don't need to make every time new block you just before you kind of create this uh, uh, lego constructor kind of you, f you create these elements you you need and then you play with them just make these combinations 
rearranging them around because this kind of rearranging stuff is most fun part is uh, not uh, so stressful like calculate and everything так так okay so now I work with the foliage it's kind of this um, I would call it sculpting tone with a uh, made by texture of branches. You know, kind of this something. Так. Give me power, give me power to do all these hatchings for all this nature stuff. Somewhere here, так, so here I will draw some this grass. Так. And somewhere here will go this uh, high school. Так. And so here will be this um, foliage, foliage trees. So again, you see like outline, and then I put some separation lines between them. Maybe some like contour inside just to show a little like texture. Again, I watch all this from Masamune Shiro, for example. You can see. Um, and so here we kind of have this transition go here and then go to here. It's kind of this is what I talked before. You not only try to draw this nature, try to draw the trees, you need to be very concerned about design, about don't make it too messy, you know, it should be readable. And what is important here is this movement. You see, it should have some this, it should work together. It should have this some air inside and some movement, all the things. So, okay. They don't distract each other, they support each other, they kind of uh, 
uh, pass this ball, you know, like in a game one, give uh, pass attention of people like uh, like a ball in a team, you know, like one member in a team, like handball player, catch ball, and then he drop to another teammate, and then good drop to another. So same, this ball is our attention. We look artist uh, picture, and this picture capture catch our attention, capture us, and start to dun 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 bombs and all around. Is this tree will drop pass here? This will pass there, pass there. So they each element they are like team ma uh, teammates, and they work together to uh, pass this at the attention between each other Do, don't try to block it don't try to take it and keep for themselves you know they need to give each other share between each other stuff like that so should be some connection between them Talk. so um uh, so here uh -huh. we have lake right Talk and a bridge so let's think about bridge same i should be very careful when drawing this bridge if i will draw it like oh i look this bridge so many details so cool i want to draw all these details you know Burr. bad bad idea because if you will draw these details it will become uh, more important or same important like this tree and so they will like compete between each other and it will destroy this depth so I need to to create I need to create from this bridge with all these details with all this stuff you see so many stuff like um, all these details even have some uh, stains and electric poles so you need to simplify like i said before when it's go more far so it became more uh, s um, stylized right so and i think i said okay uh maybe i will do something like that just like show this silhouette and here on this bottom and I think okay maybe it's too simple yeah I am at least this important element it should be a line here and then I think again maybe it's too simple it's still okay maybe like this maybe just put some more detail here you know so you uh, working on it working on a making a symbol kind of of this bridge maybe here will be this double line Tuck. I'm not sure, so kind of, you know, and uh, here, shadow, the shadow, mm -hmm. maybe it's better to show electric poles, mm-hmm. Yeah, so now I uh, I like kind of thinking on it, and I said, okay, important for sure is some um, horizontal stuff here. Um, some of this stuff here. And maybe... Okay. Yeah, maybe more important to show this electric pulse instead of describing each of this fence part and shadow 
and shadow under bridge it's kind of very cool part here right so so you see kind of what this can be I, I more like this version than this Tuck. so Yeah, so I did kind of mistake with the bridge because I kind of sit here in a awkward angle. It's like moving up instead of being horizontal. Okay. Так, also now I will do this buildings here. Like uh, more close ones. And here, so without doing three-dimensional sync, I just imply for space below trees foliage. So here, some of this stuff. Tuck. Also some very soft imply for details on buildings. Again, you see it's like almost nothing. And I don't draw uh, these buildings, just some noise. Oh, it's like almost like a texture, some patterns, pattern noise. Tuck. Same here, stop some like that. Tuck, then. Okay, 
going back to the bridge. So bridge. There's this thing. And here very interesting here is like have this um, water going in. Так. So more closer, it's like more texture. And like that, some stones. Here also have birds. I forgot a second, I have some reference of birds. Tuck. This Taiwan by Lucy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I drew before. A bunch of them. So they often kind of sit here on this water. Tuck. <coughs> So here is this kind of overlapping thing with the grass masses. So what does it mean? It's like if we have one stone here, other stone behind, then another one behind, another one behind, stuff like this. Same with the for, uh, with the grass. One here, one there. Just kind of this simple technique. The same can be with uh, grass on the ground. Uh, grass on the ground. So it's kind of one here. And no, it's not like overlapping, but it's just it's like repeating with the scaling, right? But if it's closer, it can be like overlapping. 
also one grass. So it's kind of very simple, but uh, everybody uses, I think. So here we have this some overlap. Some more darker here near water. It's kind of ambient occlusion here. Tank. Also here, very interesting thing, I can see how this uh, like going like this and going down, going here, right? So we need to show this on a picture. So it's kind of you use this broken line to show grass, but also you show this change on the surface Same here. I make some horizontal lines to show this ground, you know. So it, it's it's no grass anymore. It's kind of we know is grass there, probably right. But more important is to show this um, surface. And I kind of like to do some like twin, doing some stuff here. Так. And same can show some. different like change in the uh, form Talk here again some little lines to show overlapping Talk.
some kind of usage uh, dots for trees but these dots they can show some feeling of, of form but you see it's kind of how it's interesting how our perception work you don't need to draw these buildings you just need some dots and this will look like a building Tuck, 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 uh huh. So, okay, so here we can some stuff here and tuck. Now by drawing this uh, inclined grass, it's kind of you making a feeling of wind. It's like if you watch uh, Totoro <laughs> and you pu push uh, and you will pa pause, like stop frame, you will see how the great show wind by grass. It's just like, it, it, even when it stop look so amazing so here I kind of need to make this transition from uh, grass texture to to pattern to pattern which will just give me this uh, movement you see i'm doing this kind of thing like, whoosh, like a wind something like this flow you see so here is the, like more look like grass but still like super stylized and flat but then it completely became just lines and here very very careful very small attack. so this kind of bird also give more um, suggestion for your eye how to look this picture you know so you look tree bird bird show you okay look here and this was the grass this kind of grass wind push your back and you move to the trees the trees move you there and there kind of you know kind of i want to make this uh, circulation If I can draw mouse, I will draw mouse here, you know, but kind of, I can draw only Mickey Mouse. Okay. 
Try and put some shadow. So now I even don't need to actually watch reference anymore. It's just more about how to finish my picture to um, to clarify some moments here, like this here, for example. Так, а, maybe also like how to draw like. Like I will just see, just show some. Because it's kind of uh, some waves on the water and uh, reflections, so which will be like vertical. Kind of horizontal and vertical. Also, it's like reflection in this building sky, kind of, right? Так. Here maybe to yeah so here I have this like middle plane and the first plane right so I need to decide how to separate them um, or I make this edge darker or I make water darker there uh, I'm not sure так and have this shadows here Let me check again from reference. How Mr. Mobius will do in similar situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he do other side darker. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, so it should be darker, middle plane, need to make darker, mm -hmm. so, okay. So you see like this, you uh, have like 
right on the middle of your work you see like oh how to how to manage this problem <laughs> так. Так. Maybe, maybe I will show some. this Very careful without over detailing it. Don't give too much attention, but give some more information. So at least we more understand is uh, some kind of buildings is there. Tuck. I guess some funny cloud. Also, this cloud will support this round forms on the branches.
Oh, thank you. <laughs> no, it's far from perfect, kind of. But... But have some, yeah, have some good, useful points. Yeah, so, yeah, I really uh, recommend, my most favorite is uh, Mobius, Jean Giraud, French illustrator comic book artist he is a uh, ink of nature just fantastic how he draw trees is very very cool aha uh -huh. maybe i put some these shapes Make darker. Because now I think at this moment just how to finish to make some more contrast because it's a little um, uncertain and I want to make some accent. this we can do some sculpting tone for these branches so it will look more volumetric Okay, yeah, let's, this uh, will be enough for demo. Yeah, so I think we'll over here. And uh, thank you for watching. We'll also photo this and put in Instagram and a safe uh, video stream video.